Okay. Okay. Thank you. As soon as the trustee finds her glasses. Good evening. Um, this is the Committee on Faculty, Staff, and Administration, April 7th, 2014. Um, welcome everybody to the meeting. Um, the first <laughs> order of business is a call for a vote to improve, approve item 1A, the minutes of February 3rd, 2014. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second? Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Oppose. Abstention. The motion carries. Thank you very much. Uh, we have five matters to consider on our policy calendar. Will President Karen Gould, please join us at the table. President Gould will present item 1B1, a resolution to amend the governance plan of Brooklyn College. You're on. You're on. Yep. Okay. Um, as you know, we, uh, as you may know, uh, several years ago we uh, created four new schools and hired four new deans. So we now have a five school, five deans. Um, structure, academic structure at Brooklyn College. And we uh, have made the changes that are in your uh, governance plan policy council documents to adjust for the presence of uh, deans of schools to be acknowledged as uh, administrators um, in various roles in tenure and promotion. And that's the spirit of the document. Uh, this has been passed by uh, the Council on Academic Policy and has been uh, agreed to as well by our policy council that is comprised of students, faculty, and administrators. And everyone was in agreement that um, these changes should be made. So uh, unless you want me to go over every single change. Yeah. No, 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 <laughs> We're good. No, no. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second? I second it. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The motion carries. Thank you very Thank you much. so much. Thank you. Um, President, <laughs> President, Vice Chancellor Ginger Waters will present item 1B2, a reappointment of a civil service commissioner. Right. Um, thank you, Madam Chair. The City University of New York operates under the rules and regulations of its own civil service commission as provided for by the New York State Education Law and governed by New York State Civil Service Law. The CUNY Civil Service Commission is comprised of three commissioners, each of whom serves a six-year term. Dr. Tilden Lumel has served as commissioner since 1997. His current term expires on May 31st of this year, and this resolution would like would um, uh, reappoint Dr. Lumel to an additional six-year term commencing June 1st, 2014. Thank you. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second? Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The motion carries. Thank you. Uh, President Scott Evanbeck, would you join us at the table to present item 1B3, incorporation of the Gutman College Foundation. Thank you. This is another uh, really important building block um, for the new uh, community college uh, to um, incorporate the Stella and Charles Gutman Community uh, College Foundation. I think it's a very important step in our development. And I want to thank um, the Office of General Counsel and especially Jane Davis for all their support in moving us forward with this key resolution. Thank you. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second? Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Extensions. The motion carries. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Um, President Jeremy Travis, to introduce items 1B4 and 1B5, two naming opportunities of John Jay. Good afternoon, Madam Chair, members of the committee. I'm uh, pleased to be for you be before you uh, again with some additional uh, naming opportunities at John Jay College. We have two of them today, and I'll take them in the order in which they appear uh, on your agenda. Uh, we're first proposing uh, approval by uh, the board for the naming of the Alan Siegel Writing Center at John Jay College. Mr. Siegel is a member of our 
uh, Board of Trustees. Uh, he's the founding uh, partner of the uh, branding firm of Siegel and Gale, a very uh, well-established, well-recognized uh, firm in that, uh, in that industry and has now uh, founded a second firm called Siegel Vision. Uh, we've been working with Mr. Siegel over the past few years to create a writing program at John Jay for our students. Uh, that will uh, be centered around the notion of the uh, Siegel Scholars who will be selected uh, uh, for their uh, work in uh, strategic and nonprofit communication uh, and uh, certificate program as well that's going to be approved by our uh, governance body to, uh, to underscore that, uh, that new program. So uh, Mr. Siegel is making a, a pledge, uh, a very generous pledge to John Jay to support that scholarship uh, program. And, uh, we think it fitting that we name the Writing Center after Mr. Siegel. Thank you. You may present the second one as well. And the second one is uh, to name a classroom after John A. Reisenbach. Uh, New Yorkers of a certain age will remember the, uh, the very shocking murder of John Reisenbach, who was a marketing executive, who was killed in the village. If you remember this uh, horrific case uh, at a payphone, if you remember that story of 1991. He was a marketing, marketing executive, uh, and his colleagues uh, in the uh, communications industry um, and the media industry uh, created a scholarship in his name, uh, which has been a permanent feature at John Jay for many years. Uh, Rising back scholars have now, uh, at the master's level and at the undergraduate level, uh, have received uh, stipends from the uh, Rising back Foundation. It continues to exist. They continue to honor his memory. Uh, and in recognition of, of their work and their support for uh, our students over the years, uh, we ask the uh, board's permission uh, and approval to name uh, a classroom after Mr. Rising back. Thank you. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. S second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The motion carries. Thank I you. I'd just like to make one comment, and mm -hmm. I think that this is, I mean, all of the naming opportunities, of course, are, are very important, but this is a very noteworthy one, and really glad that we are yeah. establishing this center there yeah. in his honor. Thanks for, Thank uh, you, for your leadership in helping to bring this to fruition. Yeah. Thank you. That completes our policy calendar. We'll now move on to the Chancellor's University Report. Uh, President of City College. President <laughs> Quaco. Quaco. I'm going to get your name right. Oh, don't. Lisa, President come on. Lisa. <laughs> Half the time President I don't Lisa. get my name right. <laughs> We haven't had it right since we appointed you. I mean, right. So it's like, why should we change now, right? <laughs> Keeps her out of trouble. It's part right? of exactly. the charm. <laughs> That's right. So um, it is truly uh, my pleasure to request of this uh, committee and the board the reclassification of Mr. Felix Lamb from Assistant Vice President um, to Vice Pre of Finance to Vice President and Chief Financial Officer at City College of New York. Um, with Jerry Posman, uh, many of you know Mr. Posman, with Jerry Posman's departure to Medgar Evers, um, we have expanded significantly Felix's responsibilities. Felix is now responsible, um, not only as the Chief Financial Officer for City College, but the Chief Financial Officer for the City College 21st Century Foundation, which has approximately $200 million in net assets. He's also going to be managing all of the non-tax levy op uh, operations, as well as the professional areas of accounting, finance and business, financial planning, and budget. Um, he has been with us since 2011. Uh, Felix, you've been a phenomenal asset to our college. We're truly appreciative. Um, and we therefore uh, request this reclassification to Vice President. Thank you. May I have a motion for approval? I so move. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstention? The motion carries. Is Mr. Lamb here yes, today? Yes, he is. You want to come up? Would you join us at the table? And on behalf of the board, I want to say <coughs> thank you for your continued service and uh, to the college and to the university, which you can give you an opportunity. Thank you. It's my pleasure. I appreciate the opportunity uh, to serve uh, with President Koiko and at City College, and um, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Uh, may I ask President Rudy Crew to join us at the table?
good evening. Good evening, uh, members of the committee. Um, I uh, am here uh, to recommend the appointment of uh, Augustine Okoregi, who sits at my right, uh, to the position of acting provost and senior vice president of Metro Reference College. Uh, Dr. Okoreki is an accomplished educator with some 30 years uh, of experience in, in education uh, and in working specifically with, uh, with all college students. Um, he is, uh, uh, he's been a lecturer, a professor, uh, an author, uh, a leader in the department uh, of the Department of English uh, as well as uh, other members of the faculty. Uh, he's been at Medgar Evers since 2003 as a faculty chair. Uh, of the as, as a faculty and a member of the the, uh, the department uh, for the English department, currently he's serving as a dean uh, of the School of Liberal Arts and Education, uh, and as a member of my cabinet as well. Uh, among his many recent uh, accomplishments, he has coordinated the school's Middle States monitoring report, um, ensuring that the accreditation requirements were and continue to be met. Um, and has uh, been doing an ongoing collaboration as the, uh, the acting vice president um, of student affairs to ensure uh, the implementation of the pipeline um, is completed. Uh, Dr. Reki, Okareki holds uh, the National Certificate of Education um, in both English and Ibu uh, and uh, uh, is an education from the University uh, of Nigeria, BA in English. Uh, from the University of Nigeria, an MA in English from the University of uh, Ibadan and uh, Nigeria, and uh, a PhD in literature from the University uh, of Bifold, Germany. I'm confident that he will bring uh, to this appointment all the spirit and gusto that I need on that campus, and it's my honor to uh, recommend his interim appointment. Thank you. May I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second. Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions? The motion carries. And uh, welcome you. to your new position. Thank you. Would you like to address the committee? Yeah. yeah um, I want to thank the board. I want to thank President Krupp particularly for giving me this honor and for supporting me all through. Um, I pledge to you know, fulfill my service. I love the university, to serve the university, the faculty, the students, and to be able to support the vision of President Creel. Thank you. Thank you, and for your continued service to the college. Uh, Dr. Koreko, uh, uh, speaking on Bionic Deutsch? Yeah, it's fresh and Deutsch. Ah. It's fresh and Deutsch. Oh, Bionic. Oh, <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> now, I'm that gonna... wasn't evil. <laughs> 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 well, well, that all goes along with uh, President Cruz's uh, vision of becoming an international school and broadening our students' perspective on uh, their career. So welcome again to, to the, your new position Thank at you. the college. Thank you. Um, will you be doing a search for the permanent or how we Yes. Would, okay. Yes, and, we uh, okay. And you'll get, you'll pre update us on that. Yes, I should. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And our final matter will Provost and Senior Vice President David Christie join us to present items 1C3, an appointment at Baruch College's Zicklin School of Business. Thank you and good evening. Good evening. Uh, I'm here on behalf of President Mitch Wallerstein and pleased to um, offer you uh, support of the resolution to appoint H. Fenwick Huss as Vice President and Willem Quaker Dean of the Zicklin School of Business. Uh, we conducted a uh, nationwide search for this uh, important position. As all of you know, 80% of Baruch students are enrolled in business programs and it is the largest AACSB accredited business school in the United States and perhaps the world. Um, this is not a position for um, inexperienced deans and uh, we engaged Isaacs and Miller to uh, help us identify good candidates. It's the same firm that helped you with your selection of the chancellor. And uh, we brought to campus several individuals, all who, of whom had uh, experience as deans. Dean Huss is currently the dean of the H. Mack Robinson 
College of Business Administration at Georgia State University. We feel that this is a particularly valuable set of experiences that he has because he's working in an urban public university with uh, student characteristics much like our characteristics at Baruch. Uh, he's been dean for 10 years. Prior to that, he was associate dean, and prior to that, director of the School of Accountancy. And it's kind of icing on the cake that our largest single program at Baruch is accounting. And um, having that background is an additional benefit. So let me please uh, address any questions. Or uh, Dean Huss has joined us from Atlanta today to uh, meet the committee. Thank you. Uh, first, um, let, may I have a motion for approval? So moved. Second? Second. It's been moved and second. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Oppose? <coughs> Extensions? The motion carries. Welcome to CUNY. <laughs> so uh, this is, we are excited right. about having you join the, the uh, CUNY system, and um, if you'd like to address okay. them, we'd love Thank to. Thank you very much. My, my thanks to the committee for your confidence. Uh, I look forward to working very closely with all of the Baruch Zicklin uh, group of faculty and students. Uh, I pledge my uh, tireless efforts uh, to make both uh, Zicklin and Baruch even stronger, uh, both in quality and in reputation than they are today. And I look forward to the challenges and to the opportunities. <laughs> and Thank which you. city was, were you located in before? I'm sorry? What, where were you located before in Georgia? In Atlanta. Oh, we're we're okay. an urban school in the city okay. center. Okay. Well, we're a little bit bigger than Atlanta. Yeah, you but, are. Uh, <laughs> yes. With more but, opportunities. Well, great. Again, welcome and thank you yes, for right. your continued Thank you. You, you did some work with the, you, you founded and launched the World Councils of Bear? The, the World Affairs Council of Atlanta, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. We started that uh, several years ago because we recognized it's very important for business students to have a, a, a strong understanding of business processes and analytics, but it's also very important for them to under understand the context in which that operates. So that was the purpose of bringing together the World Affairs Council to provide sort of the second and third leg of the stool, business, civil society, and government. You're continuing that legacy at, at the roof, which also has a strong footprint right. in that area, is going to be important. Yep. So that's one of the things that uh, I look, I look forward to that. attractive to us. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, as a member of the financial services industry, um, it will be an exciting time to be part of right. uh, the academic world. In, as uh, this city in particular will right. go through a lot of changes over the next uh, several years right. and our students preparing for that yeah. change. So congratulations yeah. and thank you very look much. forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, section two. Section two. Uh, Section 2 advises the committee of a number of reappointments of faculty with early tenure pursuant to the bylaws. These items appear on the agenda for information purposes only and do not require a vote or a report. I will now ask uh, Vice Chancellor Waters for her report. Thank you, Madam Chair. I wanted to take this opportunity to just update the committee on two initiatives that my office is undertaking. Um, one in particular I wanted to stress, and that's the leadership development activities that we have um, been, that have been ongoing, but that we don't seem to promote enough. So I thought it was important to let you know what has been happening. Um, we have been offering managerial and supervisory staff, including members of the ECP, opportunities for development so that they can increase their efficiency and effectiveness in managing um, members of the staff. The Professional Development and Learning Management Unit, which is called PDLM here, offers a number of programs across the campuses, things like fundamentals of supervision, managing for customer service excellence, team-based leadership. Since fall of 2013, nearly 600 CUNY employees have taken such courses. But one of the things I wanted to point out that we are also doing this year, we are reinvigorating our executive leadership program. It's targeted at executive managers in the CUNY Executive Compensation Plan that are below the level of vice president. And they are already regarded as highly effective, and they're being prepared for greater leadership roles. This is the fifth time we have sponsored the ELP since 2002. In that time, 80 CUNY executives have gone through the program. 
59 are still with the university, 35 of them have advanced in their careers. And of the 20 participants now working elsewhere, 14 have also advanced in rank. And President Call is one of the uh, early uh, participants in our ELP and our poster child for um, <laughs> how, how great the program is. So we will be conducting it over eight days in April, May, and June. And I look forward to reporting to you again on its success next fall. One other item that I wanted to bring to your attention is that on April 24th, we'll be holding our university-wide diversity reception. It's from 4 to 6 p.m. at BMCC's Fitterman Hall. This diversity reception is a biennial event at which we honor a member of the university community who exemplifies the values of diversity and inclusion. This year, we're honoring Professor Arlene Torres of Hunter College. She will be honored for her outstanding stewardship of CUNY's Latino faculty initiative. Her leadership has contributed immeasurably to CUNY's broad efforts to cultivate a new generation of scholars. So I wanted to just tell you a little bit about the program. It was established in 2006 by former Chancellor Matthew Goldstein to increase CUNY's outreach and recruitment efforts within the Latino community. Its objectives include outreach and recruitment activities to attract outstanding candidates for faculty <coughs> positions in all disciplines at CUNY. It also is designed to increase the pool of qualified Latino applicants through proactive recruitment and organized retention efforts such as mentoring. It is designed to enhance scholarship and the growth of a world-class group of scholars who specialize in Latino and Latin American studies. And it also promotes cross-campus collaborative programming. The initiative has been quite successful in helping to increase the numbers of Latino faculty across the university. A three-year comparison of CUNY workforce statistics indicates that the number of Latino faculty has increased by 40 from 615 to 655 from 2011 to 2013. The combined percentage of Latino faculty across CUNY is now 8.7 percent. So Professor Torres's work is certainly worthy of recognition. It's 8.7 from what percent? Um, it's 8.7 percent now. It, mm -hmm. it went from 615 to 655 from 2011 to 2013. So all of the university's trustees have been invited to the diversity reception, and I'm very pleased that Trustee Beal and Trustee Arshad have confirmed that they will attend. If you've not responded yet, I hope you will consider joining us for this inspiring event. It's very, it's, it's very heartwarming to see um, the efforts paying off at the university, and we really do um, appreciate the time that um, Dr. Torres has put into this initiative. And that is my report. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to um, update the committee on a couple of items. Um, our Retirement Policy Task Force has been working diligently um, to meet our goals of um, having a consultant on board by our June meeting and therefore a report to the committee at our September meeting. As you may recall, this committee was, uh, this FSA was assigned the responsibility of establishing an oversight um, policy for the various retirement policies that the university um, oversees. And I look forward to that, that spending the fall um, informing our, this committee about the policies and plans that we have. Um, and that's moving along um, nicely. Um, and then lastly, I want to thank all of the chancellors. We, um, I in particular, and um, Vice Chair, um, Barry have been working with um, Vice Chancellor, um, all everyone, and putting together what we call a college readiness forum, college and career readiness. Um, you know, the news about uh, CUNY is great news, um, but we're particularly um, aiming at about college readiness. Our experience has been a lot of families um, graduate from New York City public schools and they think because they've graduated, then they're ready for college. And we found out that the information gap as to the difference between graduating from high school <coughs> and being college ready is pretty large. And uh, so we are educate. what we call is a, is a discussion with the advocates. And so it's not designed for parents and students this time. It's designed for those who work with parents and students. So we're inviting union leaders, we're inviting college counselors, principals, and others um, so that they can be informed about what the process is and then they can inform their constituents. So each of you will receive an invitation. We have people from the uh, Regents, Board of Regents, 
um, um, city council and a lot of educators to come and talk about that. And then the second panel will talk about, well, once you're here, how do you, once you're in college, persistence and what that looks like. So there will be two panels, and one will be about college readiness, and one will be about persistence, particular aimed at, uh, it's, it's, it's not supposed to be just CUNY, but I just happen to have a lot of CUNY people on the panel. <laughs> so um, we will get, you'll get an invitation to that, and I just wanted to publicly thank all of, um, uh, all of the chancellors, vice chancellors, and staff people who have worked very diligently in helping us put this together. Um, are there any other items? There being none, by Mr. No, I was just going to say I think that the uh, the uh, the session that uh, the trustee bill is, is speaking about is extremely important, and you know she has taken a lot of leadership uh, to uh, provide some insight into why we should be addressing this. So I'm hoping that others will take advantage of it and come. And again, just want to reiterate that it's, there's been a great partnership in bringing this to fruition. You know, so it's been it's been a wonderful wonderful thought. You know that has been given birth by many people. So, okay. so and, thank you. And um, and if I could just ask one more mm -hmm. thing about uh, uh, the vice chancellor's report on, on the, the leadership program. Mm -hmm. um, you know that our model. What do we call her? A model citizen. Poster <laughs> <laughs> child. Post, post call child. Me lucky. Lucky. Call you lucky. <laughs> and I think it's great. If, if uh, I, I I think it's a great uh, leadership program. And if it sometimes you could just share the. I'd, I'd love to see the the detail, the contents of uh, what the curriculum is, so that way we can understand it more, you know, and if any other insights we can provide, then I'd like to be able to input into that also. Great. So, but, it's a, but it's great, though. Thank you very much for bringing this to our attention. Are there any other questions, comments? There being none, may I have a motion for adjournment? So moved. Second. Moved second. and second. We are adjourned. Thank you very Thank much. You.